hopefully the next one's better. Pandemonium by oh god, it's Dobu Gabu Maru already. Okay, I should I should with full disclosure say that Dobu Gabu Maru's maps in here are or well the one I've experienced. Um E1 M7, the computer station, fantastic. Honestly, it was so good. E1 M7 was so good that it sort of ruined my expectations, or at least it sort of it was it's so good that it actually spoiled episode 2 a little bit for me. Like I feel like because of how good episode E1 M7 was, it sort of overshadowed most of episode 2. Because I still I, even while I was in the middle of episode 2, I couldn't get over uh I couldn't get over how good E1 M7 was. So I have a feeling this might happen too, but we'll see. 800 what? 831 enemies. And it's E3 M3. Pandemonium. Okay, okay, you know what? Maybe it makes sense. Let's see if this makes sense. Okay, now I get the pandemonium part. You're running away from a huge collection of barons. Thought he thought he would finish two episodes today. Hey, I went and uh, uh, I I went and checked how oh god. Okay, this isn't e th I have a feeling I have oh lord. I don't even know how to say it. I don't even know how to respond to this. I don't even know how to respond to this. Okay, look, to be fair, I was go I am still going to finish those two episodes today. It's just that it's probably going to take me longer than I anticipated. It's going to take me longer than I expected. Twenty-four hour stream confirmed. Holy. There's six secrets. Okay, there are okay, there are only six secrets. I'll consider that a win. I'll consider that a win. Okay. That's also a secret. Okay. Oh wow, I just caught that with my with the face. In the face. Okay, I have to say it lives up to its pandemonium namesake. There's like a surprisingly high amount of tension here. Oh. I am surprised at how much tension there is. Oh god. Okay. What's up with all these flashing lights and this large arena? This feels like something I'd put uh, this this feels like something for the rad suit.
Also, some of these areas look like they're very identical. Thinking about it now, like, some of these look really identical to each other. Wait, what's this? Is that... Oh, it's a gigantic mob of imps. What? So like most of these things are imps. Yeah, most of the... Wow, okay. Now I get what he means by pandemonium. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? Well, that's certainly one way to pad the numbers of your wad. Okay, that's a secret, right? Okay, that's a se that is a secret, yeah. That's certainly one way to pad the numbers of your wad. Also, hi, hello. Welcome in. Oh, shit. Nyehehehehehe. <laughs> Oh, hello there, database error. Uh, sorry, we don't have the WAD command. Uh, I haven't actually adopted that. So what exactly does the WAD command do for like uh, the rest of the Doomtubers who use it? Does it tell you... Um, I'm interested in the music, so trying to find the WAD name. Uh, Ultimate Doom in name only. That's the title. Ultimate Doom in name only. Although you know what? I think uh, I think I should up the I should actually have a command like that. Thanks. Wasn't really a suggestion per se, but it's things like these that make me think, okay, yeah, I should probably put that in. I thought it was a random title he put up. Nope, it's ultimate doom in name only. It really is. That's really the title. Okay, in I thought, okay, I came in thinking this was like a slaughter map. It sort of is. If you consider uh, more than like 500 or... Okay, I wouldn't even be surprised if I opened up Doom Wiki and found out that there are 666 imps. I wouldn't even be surprised. You call this slaughter? No, not really. I was expecting slaughter. In before, nope, 831 isn't all that many for a slaughter map. Which I'd say, what is it for you guys? But the music does kick ass, I agree. Have you not come across Oku- Oh, Oku Block. Ah, Okuplock and it's 24,000, I believe it was. Like, I thought Twilight Massacre was like a record for 2000, with 2,700. Then I went and looked at Okuplock V2.wad. I saw like 22, 24,000. The first one is just imps, 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 and imps, and imps, and imps, and rockets. And also, you start off in platforming. Because, of course, platforming in Doom is so much fun. But yes, I've seen it. Uh, I only I, I only ever got as far as like the imp section though before um, I sort of looked away. Yes, platforming. No, no platforming. Ow. My face. Maybe Sunder? Ooh, yeah, I have Sunder. Or, I have Sunder in the directory. I usually keep, like, a bunch of slaughter maps as well on my, uh, 
I keep a bunch of slaughter maps on my own drives or on my own folder of Doom because if I ever need like a, if I ever need to take a break from playing it vanilla, I can always just open up an overpowered wad. Uh, I could always just open up an overpowered weapons pack in GZ Doom, open Sunder, and then go to town with it. Play it when you're mad. It's a great choice. I mean, I do sometimes when I really need to do, when I really need a little bit of doom de-stressing. What I will do is I will take a I will take a weapon mod, an overpowered weapon mod, a gore mod to go with it, and then play Sunder. That is the way. I don't even know. No, those aren't secrets per se. I don't want to use up all of my rad suits too. If your CPU isn't on fire, you need more mods. Correct. Now this is exactly the way you mod games on everything. Okay. I want to try this. Uh. I want to try traversing the lava here. How was your day, by the way? Ayun. Um, I ended up. I ended up playing Vagrant Story for like hours. I ended up I, I I finished at like 11 in the morning, which is normally the time I'd sleep. Instead, I slept at two in the afternoon. Uh, how do I get this? I saw, bro. How do I get that? Also, there's gotta be a way for me to head to... Wait, what's this? Okay. Did I just skip, like, a, another huge part of this level? I did, didn't I? I'd like to know if the Philippines ever made their own cheese steaks. We don't even have... We can't even... We don't even have steaks. Jimmy, stakes are too bougie for us. I don't... Okay, I don't even know where to begin here. Damn, I thought it, it, it would taste better than Phillies. What is it? What are the ads? I don't even know what the ads are. I'm seeing more US ads. Well, shit. I don't know what to say to that. All I know is that there are a bunch of barons after me. I am screwed. Maybe I should just take the plunge and just go into the imp. Oh, wow. Pro mass and ad. I didn't know that. I mean, Google needs reasons for. Wait. I could have sworn one of this was a switch. What's the progression here? I have no idea. It's Adobo Gabu Maro Classic. I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. Ah, well, I don't eat steaks anyway. Just a curious thought. Nah, we don't. I mean, if you're curious, yeah, we don't really have steaks. It is not a Filipino thing. Mostly because beef is expensive. Like, really expensive here. Okay, you know what? Let's just do this. Let's just do this, I guess. Okay, there has to be a way that those imps die. By like crushers. Gotta be through crushers, right? It's expensive over here too. Most meat, most meats I only eat are chicken or turkey. I've never had turkey before. Ow. 
So I, I now have to wade through a sea of fire. Ow. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. And sometimes tuna or salmon. Okay, salmon is really expensive here. Tuna is expensive here too. Which is weird for for a country that's like supposed to be surrounded by water. Some fish is expensive here too. Also... Almost there. Ow. Do these guys never die? I pressed all three switches. What now? Okay, so I pressed all three switches. Whoa! Oh, I like this room. And then, of course, uh, you guys have to. These guys have to ruin it for me. Okay, this is pretty cool. Not gonna lie, this is pretty cool. Except for the part where I'm dying. That's not cool. Yeah, that's not cool. The dying part is the the, the dying part not so much. The rest of this level though, goddamn, Shep's kiss. Thank you for touching the bacon database error. Ow. Okay, so I don't really have anything else but like I have I have some rockets, but like how do you even access the rockets from here? Like make this thing make sense. Okay, this thing th this thing might take this thing might take an hour. This thing might take an hour. This might think this might take a while. Thank you for the sub, Red. Wait, what? Okay, so I died over that. Jesus Christ, this sucks. I don't even want to bring out my... I, I don't even want to bring out my rockets. Do they not spawn with any like... Ouch, I distract... No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. 
No, no, no. It's the room is just really hard. Okay, the room is just really hard. This entire fight is just really hard. You're you're basically incentivized to use the chain gun. Yeah, you're you're incentivized to use the chain gun here because there's a lot of bullets, but like it's not gonna be enough against all of this. So what do you do in this case? What do you do in this scenario? You can't hide in the cubby holes because those cubby holes are going to have. Yeah, you can't hide in the cubby holes um, because those are going to have damaging floors. These ones, these have damaging floors. See? Maybe you can go. You can you can hang out here in the mega armor section, but then there's a baron right behind me. So that's not a good. That's a no go. Do I try? Nope, that didn't work. I take out the imps in the center first. You would? Okay. Uh, let's see. Assuming I don't. Uh... Okay, take the imps out in the center. All right. Let's see if that actually helps. They hit you a lot in the back. They do. Okay, that does make it more manageable. Just by a touch. Nope, it does not. Oh. Yeah, I can't see myself. Uh, I, I can't see how anyone would pistol start this. Like, if I can. I, I'm, on, I'm imagining how you could do this in a pistol start. I can't. Or, I could also just blitz this uh, Kako Demon. Yup, okay, that might work. You can run towards the middle, there do seem to be stairs. The barrier on either side would give you coverage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured it out. Figured it out. I figured it out. So the trick here is to not fight them. Okay. All right, now we can fight them. Okay, that was hard. That was hard. That was very hard. Okay, that does give me the four mag... Uh, that does give me four rad suits, which I believe I can use for some good things. Also, I could probably take care of the barons right now. There we go.
That's 176 of 831. We're far from done. We've already got like two of the six secrets, but definitely still more map to go. And yeah, definitely, there's still barons. There are still barons to fight. And now they're, the baron is dead. Okay, how do you get the rocket launcher from up top? How do you get the rocket launcher from up top? Hold on. Okay, large lava field. I'm guessing it's that large lava field in the here. That's impre that wow. That is impressive looking. Although I probably shouldn't be fucking around like this because that pillet yeah. I wouldn't be fucking around like this. just feels so extra. Are you serious? Bruh. Are you serious? Like how we want bacon's extra crispy, dude. That's just... What the f... I don't get it. I'm trying to understand. But I don't really have that many rad suits left to just walk around the fire. Is this retro game still on Steam? It should be. You can still get this through Steam. Yeah, Doom to Hell on Earth. I would... Uh, it, it has its own port. It has its own port that looks different because uh, I think it's the one on Unity Engine. Um, but honestly, what you can do is I think you can just get, like, if you buy it on Steam, you can just get the base Doom or Doom 2.1 and then just load it up with a different source port. But yes, it should still be on Steam. Yep, Doom 2. Uh, there should be one that says Ultimate Doom and Final Doom then. You know, the enhanced re-release of... Oh, okay. There we go. It includes... Uh, it, it already includes TNT and Plutonia. And it even has the master levels. Oh my god. Anybody want to play the master levels? Anybody thought of playing the master levels? 
And no, yes, although although their title says master levels for Doom 2, they're terrible. Do not be fooled, they're terrible. <laughs> Okay, so I see a stash of um, equipment there. How do you get there? You need the blue key. Where do you find the blue key? I don't know. God, I remember spending days and days going through the free wads on cover CDs. Didn't they have like a really huge collection then called Maximum Doom? I know there were a bunch more, right? Because like as far as um, other releases, I know Perdition's Gate and Hell to Pay were supposed to be commercial releases too. And then using Deep. Oh yeah, I remember Deep. Which then evolved into Deep Sea, I think. Or was it just Deep and then um, and then it was just named Deep Sea. I know Deep Sea was a thing. Like before Doom Builder. You had many, many, many pulled thousands pulled from BBs. Or BBS. I actually don't know if you read that as BBS as in, as in the PHP BB forum thing or BBS, but whatever. Wait. Blue torches. What were those switches supposed to do anyway? I'm thankful to still have my physical copy of Doom Collector's Edition. The most physical copy I ever had was a shareware Doom copy um, inside a CD filled with demos. It was first called Deep and then Deep Sea. Okay, that makes sense then. Okay, am I supposed to... Alright, I guess we'll use our second, you know, we'll use our second rad suit. I own the mail order box of Doom, valued at over a thousand euro. God damn, that's crazy. Bought it for 3 euros in a thrift store around 2000 so I got very lucky. I imagine expensive since it was never sold in retail. Ultimate do only Doom to an Ultimate Doom. Okay, it looks like I managed to land here. And uh... Yeah, it's not gonna reach there, it's fine. I'm guessing this fight right here... Or this is probably how I get the blue key. Okay! Yeah, it was quite very in use Europe because postage and shipping was a lot. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, shit. Not my thing. I have to eliminate the barons early. Yeah, the key here is to eliminate the Barons e ASAP. Oh, I can't even, like, find out. <laughs> ah! It was probably the most pirated game ever for a long time. Good lord, this is hard. I found something that's similar to 
Doom, but in 1960s cartoon called Mouse. No, you mean like that? That's not even like the 60s anymore. That's like uh, those are like 1920s era, like uh, sort of similar to the art style of Cuphead. I think I know what you're talking about. It sort of has the same stylization as uh, you would see in Cuphead. Basically, those 1920s or 30s uh, Mickey Mouse cartoons. But yeah, I know what you're talking about, Chishi, uh, Pork Chishi. Also, sorry if I'm not able to keep up with chat right now. As you can see, um, Pandemonium really is uh, Pandemonium. Oh, sorry, wrong decade, lol. But yeah, I know what you're talking about. I've seen it. But yes, I've, I've seen those... Uh, I've seen that retro thing. Looks cool, looks cool. It's not even the... You know, it's not even the pinkies that are my problem now. The barons themselves are problems. Wolfenstein doesn't hold up that well. It's a maze shooter. Wait. Please help. Oh wait, I'm making it, I'm making it, I'm making it. I'm about to make it. I can just hold the fire button. You would die already, please. Oh. Thank you. There's so many black and white cartoons, I had no idea they were over a hundred years old now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I read it somewhere mostly because I remembered um, there was a game, there, there was a game in, in the Super Nintendo called Mickey Mania. And I think it covered pretty much, it, it was a platformer that sort of covered all areas. Uh, and one of the earliest areas there was like the 1920s, 30s. Sir. What in the red hell is this? What is the obsession with... What is the obsession with damaging floor? I swear, I don't get it. Oh... You've gotta be shitting me. What is with the obsession with these falling floors? The map creator is rather sadistic. Yeah, he is. I mean, generally one of the most creative minds there is for Doom. Like... These just bother me a lot. Like, bro, what is the obsession? Okay. It's taking so long. Doom 64 on Steam is actually really nice too, with the more modern controls it plays well. It does, yeah. You're right. It's gotten to the point where even I try, uh, I try... Actually, once October comes, so... In Halloween, I actually played uh, Doom 64 along with Doom 3. Because apparently, it has a more horror-ish vibe to it. And it is true. But... Now, thinking about it going on October, I think I want to try out Doom 64 Reloaded. Which is basically a, high, a more detailed reimagining of Doom 64. I'm all for that. Doom 3 I just can't enjoy. I like Doom 3. Okay, what's this? Oh, that's for the rockets! Alright. 
Alright, so that's for the rockets. Cool. Do focus on the experience and jump scares, enemies spawning in behind you, etc. It's, uh, I think the general consensus for that would just be, it's a bad do. Uh, I, I guess it's bad as far as, far as a Doom game, but like, as a hor if you just treat it like a horror shooter, it's alright. It's good. I don't know, I like it. Maybe it helps that I have like a source port and uh, a little few extras, but I don't know, I liked it. I actually liked it. Okay, so that's three out of six. Um, how do you get to secrets number four, five, and six? There's still five hundred. There are still five hundred monsters here. What is this? Let me see. Dude, if this just had like a few more rad suits all over, this would be, this would have been nice, like that. If there were just like more rad suits in between, it would be nice. And also, it's very chain gun heavy. Like I haven't received any shotgun shells for this, which is why I haven't really switched to anything else but the shotgun. Okay. Shotgun by my far is my favorite Doom weapon. Like a sniper rifle if used correctly. That is true. Okay, so we got four out of six secrets now. Great. Okay. Wait, there's a switch here? Eh? Where's the switch? Okay, head directly south from here. And then there's a dead end with eyes? What do you mean? I see nothing. I see a bunch of these. No eyes. Oh great, now it's actually it's damaging lava again. Why did this have to be like So why exactly is this like 10 damage lava? I still haven't found that secret that they were talking about. Directly south? Like, do I just have to go directly south here? Oh, these things. Okay. Alright, I know it now. Um, 
very easy to get lost here. Okay. Alright, we got them. We got it. We got it. That's five out of six now. Not crazy over maps like this. I, like, I think I get what it's going for, but it's a bit too on the nose. I don't know. I, I just think it needs more rad suits. Okay. So now that we've gotten uh we've gotten that. I've also gotten the blue key already, so where next? Okay, there, I think there's one more secret. Uh, looking at Doom Wiki, there's one more secret on like the east side of this, of the cave, of lava and fire, and okay, I think it was this one. Oh, it is this one. Okay, there we go. That is uh, all six secrets. And now that I have the blue key as well, that means I have no business here anymore. Okay. What the fuck? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So it's called Pandemonium because of that. Okay. Oh wow, that's it. I'm guessing all of the imps got crushed after. Still, 28 minutes. Hiya. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Like, it has some really creative ideas, but also, it, it has some creative ideas a la because it's a Dobu Gabu Maru map, but also, it feels weird. There's something weird and grating about it that I don't like. But, it's impressive, but also, yeah, I, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it.